Hey everybody, what's up? Um, just got a couple thoughts tonight that I want to share with you guys. Um, I was flipping through the channels last night and I stopped on Entertainment Tonight for like two seconds. Um, it was something about the Golden Globes and all this footage and they, they were showing what the stars were going to be eating and what they were going to be wearing and you know, it was all this exclusive information. Um, and then I, I literally hit hit the channel. I hit it once. You know, pow. Up to the next channel and Access Hollywood was on. And they said, coming up, exclusive, on tonight, on the Golden Globes. And they showed the exact same crap. I mean, like, shot for shot. Um... Why are we so obsessed with these celebrities? It is just amazing to me. And and I started thinking about the Golden Globes that were on last night, which I didn't watch, and the Oscars that are coming up, and, you know, the People's <coughs> Choice Awards, and the Emmys, and, and all this stuff. And I, I remember a few years ago when Julia Roberts, I believe, got an award for Aaron Brockovich or something. And she went on and she cried and, oh, this is so much, this means so much to me, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. You know, you are a multi-millionaire. You are making millions of dollars an episode. Or not an episode, a movie. Millions of dollars a movie here. All of you. You, you live it's pathetic the lifestyles you live and yet you win these awards and it's like oh my god I'm the prettiest girl in school you like me you really like me um and we buy it oh what a special moment Julia was so touched was she you know shouldn't why does this matter? We, we verify with these people from our wallet what we think of them. We go see their crappy movies all the time. We buy their magazines with their picture. We watch them on TV when there's an interview with them. And yet they win these awards from, with their peers. And they act like this is the biggest life-changing event ever. And how did it come to this? I mean, why is it that getting the movie role isn't the big deal? Getting the million dollar deal isn't the big deal. Hell, getting your picture on the cover of a magazine isn't a big deal. But they're so used to this. I, they're part of this machine. I always hear about the machine, the, the late night machine or the, the celebrity machine. That's all it is. This Access Hollywood, this Entertainment Tonight, I'm convinced they're all owned by the movie studios so they put this crap on there that make you think it's important and they sell their product and the product are these pretty little celebrities and you know I think back to our high school yearbooks and didn't they have like best dressed you know cutest couple most successful blah 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 it's high school you look in these magazines like Us or People or watch these crappy shows on E and it's best dressed, worst dressed, and, and there's industries built on this. Come on, people. Turn it off. I don't care. You know, the ratings should tell you what the best TV show is. Do we need an award to prove it, too? You know, the critics say it, your fans say it, but you need an award? I, I don't get it. And I, I, I've noticed, as I'm doing more of this YouTube thing, one of the topics that, that keeps creeping up into what I'm saying is this cult of celebrity. And we need to take it, you know... To, there's one thing, you know, in the 40s, there, there were movie stars. These people were glamorous. They had an aura about them. They were in the movies, and they were something special. But that line has been blurred. 
There, there are no true movie stars. If somebody's on Jay Leno or Oprah or something, they're pushing a product. Hell, if they're on Barbara Walters or 2020 or some sob-ass interview, they're pushing a book or a movie or something. And it's really pathetic. These people are, when I look at them, I, I really think some of these people, they're just whores. They're just selling their picture. They're selling their photo shoot. They're selling their sob story. They're selling their whatever to anybody who will pay, you know, the highest dollar. None of this stuff comes for free. And yet they're the first ones to complain about the paparazzi being in their face. So, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here, and it sounds angry, and I'm not angry, but it's just silly. And, and I saw these awards, and I thought, you know, I look at them, and then the people who don't win, they're so upset, and their dreams are the... Come on. It's, it's a popularity contest. Um... And why do they need to be told how good they are? I heard that Beyonce got snubbed at the Golden Globes. Yeah, too bad. You know, she's only been making millions of dollars, selling out concerts, making videos, being treated like a diva, wearing designer gowns, wearing more money on her body than I will ever make. Um... But she felt snubbed because she didn't get nominated for an award. Come on. There's two things sad about that. One is she felt snubbed about the award. Two, I knew she felt snubbed for the award. So my point is, and I have one, um, we have to stop caring about this. This can't be page one news. Um... You know, the day they hung Saddam Hussein, I found out that the gay guy from NSYNC broke up with his boyfriend. Why is this news? Why does this matter? Why do we care? But, why are you watching me? Why is this news? Why does this matter? Why do you care? So, we have this insatiable urge to learn more about people. I don't know. Let's learn it from somebody interesting. Learn it from all the other YouTubers out there, all the other MySpacers out there, all the cool bloggers out there. Let's learn it from somebody who has something to say. Not the prettiest girl in the class. Do you think Angelia Jolie or Brad Pitt would have gave a damn about you in high school? Do you think... I, I always joke that these people on Friends making a million dollars an episode that they'd be the biggest pricks because they wouldn't include anybody else in their group of friends and they're the popular kids on the bus. Um, and I guess my insecurities are coming through. But anyway, just some random thoughts tonight. Nice little rant after a long day of work um, about celebrity and this celebrity era we live in and it's just getting worse. So coming up next... Angelia Jolie has a wonderful gown, and I got the latest scoop. So, and if you don't want to see it here, we'll turn to Access Hollywood over there, or there. Nah, that's all for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.